humans see themselves separate uh, from nature. They're um, unconscious to the impact that they have um, when they engage with the food system. Um, so they're not aware that their choices in uh, food production, purchasing, cooking have a, a direct impact on the environment in which they live, which has impacts on their health and well-being and those of many future generations as well. Food miles, mass meat production, in clean water, pesticide runoff, climate change, the food security, pest and disease, corporate dairy production, genetic modification and all of these, you know, quite big issues for our time. And, just making simple choices about what sort of you know food that we eat and, and bring to the table and, and how we share that with other people I think is has big power. When we talk to our grandparents and our grandparents' generations, growing your own food was normal and, and we've become so detached from that as a normal practice. But I think there's huge opportunities to develop um, social movements and culture around making food exciting again and making food interesting and having that connection to food and being able to bring people together. I don't think that there's any environment where people can't you know, grow some herbs in a pot on your balcony if you live in a high rise or if you have a backyard. I think people are starting to see that as an interest and, and connecting to nature and, but I think there's um, there's a reason to do it and there's, uh, it almost needs to be seen as a responsibility. Somebody asked me the question the other day, what would I call local food? And my response is that if you can know your farmer, then I think the food is local. And the reason that local food is so important is to be able to remove all of the transportation um, uh, costs in terms of the environmental costs of transportation, all of the cool storage, um, all of the fossil fuels that go into moving food from one place to another. To minimise food waste, I guess, I definitely say food, organising food plans and you know, creating shopping lists so that you're buying what you need. Depending on your living circumstances, whether you're in a, whether you've got availability to have chooks, um, that's a great way to you know, convert your food waste into eggs. Um, alternatively, worm farms, converting your food waste into fertilizer for your gardens. Community, community composting systems that are starting up, so separating your food waste and looking at ways that that can be picked up or consolidated with other people in your street. If we want to look at the true cost of of um, you know, organics versus chemical agriculture. Chemical agriculture, um, the impact it has on animals, on waterways, on soil health, on future generations availability to grow food. Um, if we took into account all those costs then the cost of chemical agriculture is extremely expensive. I think we need to be careful that we don't just look at um, cost as being financial, but also being on um, you know, ecological and social. We can minimise our impact on the environment by um, you know, being prepared to go shopping, and bring our own bags um, so that we're not using um, you know, plastic bags or, or disposable bags. Look at which organisation you're shopping with. Um, there's big corporations who don't take into consideration the environment with their sourcing of food, with the transportation, um, with the way they do business. People are shifting their ideals and their interests. Um, people are starting to make better choices, I think mostly because accessibility is improving. There's lots more farmers markets and uh, sort of alternatives to the large supermarket chains and um, opportunities for people to access food in different ways. People are wanting to have a greater connection with their food and I think that's because they want to have a, an idea of the cleanliness and, and the methods that the, the food is, is being produced and making sure that it's without chemicals and all those sorts of things. Everywhere you look it's, it, it's there, it's happening and, and by that nature people um, don't want to be left behind, they want to be part of what's happening. Um, you know, moving to the sustainable way of a food system operating.